So you want to know how to actually make money with soccer betting? Don't worry. In this video, I will be sharing very important tips that are going to change your betting life generally. Although nobody is close to being 100% perfect at trading and making profits with soccer betting, not even me. But the tips I will be sharing changed the way I used to think about or see football betting and raised me above 90% of other bettors, and I'm sure they will also change yours if you are patient enough to apply them all. The number one tip to actually make money with soccer betting is sticking to specific markets. Instead of putting your money on different betting options every day, pick two or three betting markets that you feel are naturally easier for you. Following a consistent betting strategy and sticking to it, even during losing streaks, is crucial for long-term success. By sticking to particular options, you will be able to learn why things go well and why they didn't, and before you know it, you will become an expert who cashes out regularly with soccer betting. Focusing on a limited number of things instead of all builds experience and expertise. The second tip is having favorite leagues for all your chosen betting markets. After you have selected your favorite betting market, the next step is having different leagues or teams that you go to when you want to bet on any. For example, I love to use Serie A and La Liga games for the double chance option. For straight wins, I use a mixture of Portuguese, Turkish League, Premier League, and two others. For both teams to score, I analyze and stake on Bundesliga and Eredivisie games. You can also do your research and find out your favorite leagues for different markets. Do not forget even if a league is favorable for a particular betting option, it doesn't mean all the games in the league will guarantee that result. 3. Setting Odds and Budgets There are lots of games being played every day, and there's no limit to how many odds you can generate on betting platforms, and this is at least 40% of the reason why the majority of bettors will always lose. I will be talking about the other 60% reasons that make people lose later. If you want to make good money with football betting, you mustn't let the number of sure games distract you. Lack of discipline is one of the major causes of frequent losses, and people don't even care. So stick to a preferred odds number, whether 2.5 or 3.0. As for bankroll budgeting, one of the important things that I've learned is that those who stake high are the ones that make the actual money in sports betting. I'm not advising you to stake more than you can afford, you should always stick to how much you can afford to stake, but the truth is the truth. The fourth important tip to being a regular winner is understanding value bets. This has to do with looking for bets where the odds offered by the bookmaker are higher than the actual probability of the outcome occurring, based on your research or analysis. Value betting is also about looking for another sure option with better odds in a game when the first sure option you wanted to bet on isn't enough for you. You don't have to use this style if you are a beginner because value betting is 50% about betting on odds, which can be a bit risky. The fifth and the most important to me is understanding the impact of players and form analysis. This is where a lot of people get it wrong in football betting, and to me, it's like 55% of why bettors lose always. Although odds represent the probability of an event happening in a match, it still doesn't guarantee that it will happen. Even though I said form analysis is the backbone of successful betting, the players that play the games are the most important. There are some people that do everything right in terms of form analysis but totally ignore the players that will play the game. If you analyze a game properly for over 2.5 and you ignore the availability of the players involved. Injuries, the form of the defenders, the efficiency or lack of efficiency of the midfield and striker, your analysis can be a waste of time. So follow players news before you put your money on any games and generally, don't leave any stone unturned, I'm going to be sharing more football betting tips as they come, so subscribe, and most importantly, turn on the notification bell.